Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another AMC video. Some activation of the short selling rule though is announced the day before. And please hang on. You also did not know this. The New York Stock Exchange is a safety net, not from New York, New Jersey, or some of the surrounding areas of New York City, right? It is actually a Chicago security measure. Chicago, which is more than 700 miles from Wall Street, is designed to secure the U.S. markets 24 hours a day should tragedy ever hit the world's largest trading center. And I understand what we mean by stock market protection. Observe this. When the stock market is closed, New York Stock Exchange employees do routine maintenance by turning on and off systems to guarantee proper operation. A New York Stock Exchange employee failed to properly shut down one of the systems prior to Tuesday, resulting in the calamity. Mind astounding. They overlook the fact that there are only two buttons that need to be activated and deactivated. Utilize one of them. Let me clarify. This could cost hundreds of millions of dollars if the corporations actually sue for repayment of their shareholders' lost gains and pricing action. Remember that a number of large banks lost seven, eight, and nine hours due to price action. Massive, major decline for no apparent reason. And how appropriate is this? Remember when the AMC ran 5%. 6% and 7%. Typically, this is put on hold. It is put on hold to further reduce daily gains. But when something like this occurs, nobody knows who is at fault, who has committed a wrongdoing, and nobody will likely be penalized for these individuals. And again, how appropriate this is if you actually know the individual and whose stocks could be affected. Remember that not all stocks were affected. It was merely a list of 100 plus or minus stocks that were affected by this manual error. Because, gentlemen, if nobody is punished for this, it might happen again and again and again after a period of time during which people will have forgotten about this incident. Moreover, guess what? Almost certainly somebody benefited from this. We cannot guarantee this, but consider the possibility. It is quite appropriate if you know that someone could do something without being punished or pursued. And this is a possible market opportunity. Do you believe that they will not complete the task? Imagine you have a massive, massive short squeeze play, and someone really wealthy bets against you that they will not have access to the individuals testing the systems and the ease with which some of these systems can be turned on and off. I believe they are so overconfident that they have become self-deluded and simply do not comprehend the metrics of the AMC pressure. Therefore, when AMC ends up squeezing, the mainstream media will say, look, we know some hedge funds that did get out of these short positions, so it's not that bad. Just consider it okay. They are not speculating and are not attempting to develop some sort of wacky theory. Consider, though, if it was so simple to manually switch on and off and cause the system and stocks to fail. I mean, inform me. Consider that you were set to enter a rally with a 50% gain and that there is no hold something episode with Janice and the day another stock is released that modified the ticker recently, 150-60%. No phone calls today, either. The notion here is that someone might easily deactivate some of the devices and claim a manual, manual error. I repeat this since this will not be inexpensive or free. The venue collects approximately $500,000 per month for a compensation fund for exchange members who are primarily broker-dealers representing their investor clients when such mashups occur. By the end of this month, claims decisions will be made for Tuesday's program. As previously stated, this sounds like another another market-related punishment or fee that is significantly less severe than the actual repercussions from market-related misbehavior. Like usual, sure, you are not required to agree with me. Please let us know in the comments. Do you believe that anyone actually benefited? Do you believe that anyone considered the potential dangers and that these fines were part of the reward? 